Oh, love to everybody this pranic Sunday. So this is a pre-recorded video. I'm just sat on the top of a hill opposite Stonehenge. Oh, can you see the hand? Where is it? There it is. Can you see the hand? So today for Pranic Sunday, we're going to be doing a little bit of um, scanning for the sun, a bit of sun gazing. Now, this is wonderful for anyone that is starting a pranic lifestyle, anyone that is shifting from how they eat, how they drink, moving to lighter, um, lighter or less dense forms of nourishment. So the sun offers us all that we really need but our bodies we've forgotten we've forgotten how to um how to translate that right so there's a transition process it's not going to be one day you just stop eating and drinking and then you're living on prana you have to allow the body to catch up the mind and the body to catch up with where your soul wants you to go so if you are called to be on a solitarian journey a breatharian journey or even simply move into raw foods or juicing or anything like that or fruits this is a really great way to, um, especially if you incorporate it with a dry fast. So I'm currently dry fasting. Um, so no food, no water. Um, I'm living just solely on the prana for at least a day. I don't know when, uh, till when I may continue or I may close it off just a day. Because it's not about the... Um, the length of time it's about how you're feeling and the consistency of it it's like when you go to the gym right you know you go for shorter amounts of time over the course of a few weeks a few months and you see the difference rather than just trying to do a 24-hour workout right so um so i am really enjoying the energy of this equinox the full moon everything like that now Scanning for the sun is a term. So my friend, I have a friend called Merlin. He's uh, Merlin the man. So I have two friends called Merlin. One of them is very non-physical and ascended being, who's one of my guides in this lifetime. <laughs> and another one is uh, is a human being who is very very clever. He does a lot of calculations with the sun, with the moon. Um, he's a high druid in some order. I'm not sure if it's Avery or a few different orders, but um, he's here also. I'm actually sat on his uh, hour line. Where is it? Where are the lines? Oh, it's just right behind me here. So when the sun sets, my shadow will be directly, um, directly aligned with that because that is the equinox line that is that is mapped out there. Um, anyway, I digress. So, yes, yeah, scanning for the sun or sun gazing. So, what we want to do, because like we say, the sun will offer us everything that we desire, everything that we need, right? that energy without it having to get translated and digested and things like that it will offer us whatever we do so you can do this first thing in the morning in the evening um it's a bit intense to do it in the day so i've heard i've not tried it yet during the day but apparently it's a little bit intense to do it in the day so you want to kind of work up to that but first thing in the morning when the sun is lower or when the sun is lower because it's setting so what we're going to do here is you're going to start by turning your head so that the sun is here and your head is facing away from it. You're going to turn your eyes and squint a little bit. You don't want to have your eyes fully wide open because that's just going to be a bit too much for you. But we're going to turn our eyes so that we're looking towards the sun. And then we're going to slowly move our head around, gazing into the middle of the sun and allow our head to turn the complete opposite way. The eyes remain on the sun though. The eyes remain on the sun. So you turn your head from one to another 180 degrees. And you want to squint when doing this, right? Just when you start anyway. You want to squint. Your eyes are probably going to water. That's okay. You know, we don't want to We don't want to spend too much time looking directly at the sun. Because when you start out doing that, you know, you're going to get these sunspots and everything in your eyes. And it's not going to be as pleasant for you. So you want to always ease into any of these practices in a way that um, really fulfills you and feeds your soul, your energy, your, um, your light, right? <clears throat> so you want to do that for a couple of minutes now you do that for a couple of minutes back and forth you'll find you'll find that your energy you will just be filled up for the day you'll be absolutely filled up for the day right raring to go so it's a wonderful compliment to anyone that is water fasting or dry fasting or shifting how they're eating um but especially for those on a dry fast or a water fast so um you will find though that the ego and the mind will get in the way and that's okay you know you'll find for a reason why you may not want to do it or you'll come your mind will tell you that you've got a million other things that you need to do and you don't have time for it you know the, the mind is always going to get away with anything that is soul based soul expansion based right um rather than what it's been used to so just be aware of that because that will be the same for anything whether you're doing a water fast a dry fast um 
or as I like to call it, a pranic feast, <laughs> as we like to call it in the pranic family. Oh, by the way, I have an interview on, well, an interview. I'm doing, I'm running a free workshop um, on Wednesday. Um, I have to check the time. <laughs> I've posted, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm running a free workshop on the Divine Feminine and Prana. Prana and the Divine Feminine. So I'll be giving a little bit of free information out there. Uh, the call will go from free information to answering your Q&As live on the call. And then we will do a channeled meditation to close off that free workshop. So um, that will be available. That's on Wednesday. Um, like I say, I do have to check the time because I can't recall off the top of my head what time that is at. Um, I think it's at 2 p.m. UK time which is 10 a.m eastern standard right now um but i will double check that um but i'm pretty sure it's 2 p.m on wednesday but the link will be going out on this page right for you to um be able to connect because it's, it's on zoom right it's not it's not live streamed it's on zoom so um so yeah so do feel very welcome to join us there because that'll be so much fun because uh pranic living really um goes hand in hand with the rising of the divine feminine and the divine masculine right um but really we'll be talking about how to um liberate your feminine heal her and let her let her be the most powerful beauty that she is here to be the most wonderful ascended being of light that she's here to be within you and the prana helps that so it'll be wonderful to see you tune into that and um and one more little thing I'm going to be running a course soon in partnership and collaboration with a beautiful divine being called Melissa. Some of you may know her already because we've done collaborations before, but we're going to be doing a shadow work course. It's going to be a six week course. And this is a little hint, a little spoiler because we've not started speaking about it yet. So do be sure to be signed up for both of our newsletters because we will both be posting it when we uh, when we have everything ready to go. But that will be starting very soon, actually. That'll, that'll be starting in a couple of weeks because um, we want to align it with some of the energies that are coming in and some of the information we've received from the Galactic Intergalactic Council uh, and the Archangels. So we're going to be running a workshop where we will be facing releasing integrating those shadows and reharmonizing ourselves in the light we're going to be going over so many really powerful potent and um relevant topics and practically um practically leading you holding a container for you to be able to find your divinity within right find your light within and find that harmony and that balance so we look forward to starting to talk about that because we'll be posting about that next week um, but in the meantime, enjoy your sun scanning, scanning for the sun, enjoy your sun gazing. I'm going to be sat here for a little longer doing that. I wonder if you can all hear the helicopter that just flew by. <laughs> Those media helicopters love flying over Stonehenge and, uh, and places like that. When I lived in Avalon, it used to be all the time. <laughs> helicopters really low and noisy. But anyway, one more time. There is the sun and there is the hand just there. I'll see everyone who's going to be in the middle of those stones tomorrow morning for the sunrise. So much love to you all. Bye for now. Oh, last day as well for the 20% sale. So if you are looking to get a one-to-one -one session booked in, 20% off finishes later on today. So, okay, I swear, that's it for now. <laughs> Bye.